If you're into Korea, then surely you have a favorite one of these. Learning Korean through famous lines from K dramas and movies on. Welcome to Korea! With Korean on me! It is indeed a Tuesday. It may be raining outside, but we've brought the sunshine to you. Korean Onni Moon So Hyun in the studio. Thank you. I like your hair today. I Did you met, change your wax? Or I something? met my neighbor. Uh-huh. Uh, I was on the first floor today, and he said, Have you had your hair cut? It looks nice. It I, looks really I had a nice. cut like 10 days ago, so I've definitely seen you. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've seen him in the meantime, but yeah, maybe it's the rain. Rain changes the way your hair kind oh, of yeah. falls. Maybe. I think like you kind of, it seems like a wet, dry hair. A wet, dry Oh, you're right. It does look a bit wet because it. I got rained on in the morning. <laughs> maybe may, every day you need to spray Get, your hair. Really? <laughs> spray your hair with wet. I don't like my hair looking wet, you know. No, but, but it looks you, really nice. You I think said it that. He said that. Better um, longer on the top of your head and then shorter on the. Okay. Your sides. Thank you for the fashion tips. I used to have it wet looking all the time when I was young, but I thought that kind of <laughs> looks immature. Maybe I'll just wet my hair every day. Okay. Thank you. Your yellow, yellow, yellow. orange, uh-huh. orange denim jacket. Thank looks you. lovely. It blends perfectly yeah, with the table. With like the table. literally, you are one with the table. Uh, <laughs> have you had a good week since we last saw you, Karina? Yeah, I succeeded um, more than a week of going to yoga every, every day. Well done. Yeah, it's Fantastic. such an achievement because these days I wake up every day on five thirty a.m. <gasps> five thirty a.m. What time are you going to sleep? Uh, about 10 p.m. Oh, okay. That Became is a grandma now. maybe enough sleep, uh, but the yoga gives you a nice boost in the morning. Did you do it today as well? Yes. Can you show us one yoga pose? We've got video radio, so if one anyone watching, pose? can you try just a simple one? <laughs> like something with your arms or something. Okay. Okay. Just looking hands up <laughs> like you're praying. Yeah. Oh, that is a stretch, though, isn't it? <laughs> that does feel good. Yeah. You need to inhale while you're doing it. Inhale. Again. Oh, (laughs) I don't stretch enough just as a person. Like, I'm not very flexible. And loads of people have said you need to do stretching. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the basic thing to do, Yeah, you should do a stretching video with your mom. You said your mom stretches every day, didn't you? No, that's my wife's grandma, who's still alive. She's actually more flexible than me. Maybe I'll do it with her. That'll be fun. Uh, Today's hashtag, before we get on to language learning, is collaboration. Oh, collaboration. Or hyobop in Korean. Ah. Are there any collaborations that you like? Like it could be artists, it could be food, Uh like people have been talking about Chimek today. And Zana said vanilla ice cream and french fries. That's her favourite collaboration. Actually, yesterday, um, Uh (laughs) I didn't eat very healthy. (laughs) But um, (laughs) yesterday I had my bulldog carbonara. Can I say the name? Bulldog carbonara. Oh, yeah. the instant noodles. Yeah, the instant noodle. The pink one. The pink one. And I, I like, like that, that collaboration. That's not bad, is yeah, it? It's, it's not that hot. Yeah. It, it has a cheesy yeah, t- I, flavor. I think that's better than the original. Like, mm-hmm. I don't like the original. It's too spicy. Mm-hmm. You know, we're talking about the instant noodles, the fire chicken noodles, which have become famous across the world for like challenges on YouTube, yeah. right? But the carbonara version, it's pink on the outside, the packaging. It tastes nice. I like that. Good yeah. collab. Uh, Peter doesn't really like food, certain foods, so that's nice to hear. There we go. Yeah, I am a bit fussy. You're right. Uh, but that one, it's instant. It's processed food. I'm going to like it. <laughs> uh, we want your audio clips today. Thank you very much in advance via Cacao Talk. So get on board right now. Add us as a plus friend. Our user ID is Daily K. Before we get to our role play, our skit today, what are the three phrases? They're a little tough for me, to be honest. Right. Actually, uh, the second one, I also don't know. I didn't know what that means. We needed to study. Before. I searched it. It's okay. from North Korea, obviously. So we don't usually teach North Korean on the show, <laughs> but today is an exception. The first phrase is 그래서 내 별명이 짧은 입 공주였어. 그래서 내 별명이 짧은 입 공주였어. Mm. I feel like I have to do that in a female voice because it's talking about being a princess of some sort, right? Yeah, this connects with the previous conversation I had with Peter because we were <laughs> talking about Peter having. Uh, fussy, mm-hmm. being fussy about food, yep. and this means pretty much the same. So that's why my nickname was 
fussy princess. Princess. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a lovely princess. And, and here we'll go into it in more detail later. Later. But it's not just plain old fussy. There's a certain connotation to it. Yeah, to do with food as well. Uh, the second one that we both had to study then, what's that phrase? Yeah, I'm not sure I'm um, saying this in the right intonation. Okay. But I'm going to try. Emi <laughs> Nai. 중대장 동지 살림을 거덜내는구만. 에미나이 중대장 동지 살림을 거덜내는구만. Yeah, so obviously Eminai here uh, means a girl. Okay, and, in hey, the North Korean dialect, right? Yep. A girl, you're trying to... Um, how can I... Ruin? This? Yeah, ruin my household. Ruin the, uh, the commander's life. Yeah. Sal, ah, yeah, we'll go into that in detail later because that is an interesting <laughs> Korean word. Maybe not a direct translation into English. And then the last phrase. Last phrase is shorter, thankfully. <laughs> 죽도 밥도 안 되겠어. 죽도 밥도 안 되겠어, which is a phrase meaning? It's going nowhere. It's going nowhere. Yeah. Things are not succeeding, right? Yeah. The opposite of that. And we'll tell you the literal meaning of it as well, because it has a different literal meaning. Uh, so today's scene in the drama in question. It could be a movie, could be a drama. Let's set it yeah, up. Yes, so the drama today, um, it's interesting because there was this Tebar heiress. Mm -hmm. Tebar meaning super rich in Korea. Yep. <laughs> uh, owning a conglom conglomerate. Mm -hmm. right. She accidentally accidentally landed in North Korea d due to a paragliding accident. So not even on an airplane or a helicopter. She was paragliding <laughs> and accidentally falls into North Korea. Yes, and there the, the man, commander-in-chief of North Korea, tries to protect her and console her. Okie dokie. That's the scene. And I think this scene is not actually the lead male character, but his, like, subordinate. So yeah. I'm going to play two male soldiers trying to comfort you. You're the Chebo. I'm the princess. I want to hear your Chebo acting. <laughs> I'm going to try and be a North Korean soldier. Those lines only that we mentioned are in Korean. So listen out for those. The rest we'll do in English. Hey, don't worry too much. Comrade Company Commander is looking for another way. I don't usually eat breakfast. You don't know Michelin restaurants, do you? I only eat at the restaurants that have stars. Do you know what my nickname is among the chefs? What is your nickname? <sighs> Why am I eating my fifth portion of durungji dipped in sugar? It's delicious when you sprinkle some sugar on nurungji. Eminai, jungdejang dongji salimu kodol nenungkuman. I'm so scared. So you guys have to help me. If I only trust Li Jonghyuk, chukdo bapdo an degesso. By the way, where did the commander go? I don't know. He went out to buy something. Oh, uh, that's why he told us to come and keep watch. What? Keep watch over who of course it's you comrade so i think this scene is when the main lead actor who's playing the character of lee jong hyuk mm -hmm. tried to get her out back to south korea but the plan failed mm -hmm. so she's feeling a bit worried maybe getting stuck in north korea oh yeah that's true but she was actually pretty content eating her nurungji. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the scene and it seems like, oh, actually, it's not going to be that bad. How do we describe nurungji? It's... Ah, nurungji would be something like, uh, it's made of rice, mm -hmm. but it's like a rice cookie. Yeah. And it's very sweet. It's kind of almost like the popcorn version of rice, ah. like stuck all together, right? Yeah, that's a With nice a way to crispy say Crispy texture. And you usually have it, I like hemo nurungji, you know, where you have like, don't you have, oh, is that nurungji or is that something else I'm thinking of? Nurungji is the burnt rice, isn't it? Yeah, it's the burnt rice. I I'm think thinking it's of mostly something else. plain. Sorry. What plain. I, I'm thinking of, do you know the thing that looks like little 
balls of snow, basically. And they're stuck together. Stock. And then no, <laughs> and it's like really crunchy and crispy. This is something completely different. You're right. Nurungji is like the the crispy. And now I'm curious what Peter's trying to say. I will find out in the song break, yeah. I promise. Is the crispy kind of coating on the bottom of the pan, right? Mm-hmm. Nurungji. Siska and Driani said Nurungji is like rice crust, no? Yeah. Yes. Oh, rice you can crust. See rice crust. And it is the best when you dip it on sugar and eat it. I've never tried that. No, is that a you thing? should. I, I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. Really? Ask your mom to do that, and your mom would be happy to make a nurungji, sertang nurungji for you. I look forward to it, mom. Or honey. She's definitely listening now, so make it oh, for Peter, me, please. Oh, Peter, <laughs> Peter, like a nurungji, help <laughs> With some sugar or honey, you're right. <laughs> yeah. So it's the burnt rice on the outside of the pan. I have heard it called scorched rice as well. Uh-huh. And so she is eating that, which is, I guess, an easy dish to make when she's usually used to Michelin restaurants. Michelin restaurants, but she was quite satisfied with her nurungji. That's why she was eating up to five nurungji. <laughs> yeah, so this drama, many of you are on the right lines or have already guessed it. Uh, yeah, we'll say it is a drama. So tell us the name of it and send us the audio files of those three clips as well in Korean and we'll give you some feedback on those. Um, some hints for this drama. It was out very recently, wasn't it? It was out pretty recently. It was on two. 2020 and it was super hot on Netflix. Oh, it's still on there as well. Still on there, I and it was it. even yeah, it even topped 10 um, most watched or popular Netflix in America. In America. In America. What really? <laughs> yeah. I was going to watch this, and then somebody I knew said, "Oh, it's a bit wishy washy, you know, too much of a romantic comedy." Yeah. But yeah. then everyone else, all the listeners, have said it's brilliant. So I might go back and watch it. I mean, it's. Mm-hmm. And my nickname is uh, Hyun Bint. <laughs> <laughs> that is a hint to today's drama yeah, as well. Yeah, that's a hint. That's the main male character that's playing the Not role. me, unfortunately. <laughs> yes. Uh, Mimi R saying, Hyun Bin is a man who never ages. I wonder how long he can keep that up for, but he is looking very good, isn't he? Uh, this is from the soundtrack, so I won't tell you what the drama title is just yet. Pek Yedin, Here I Am Again, Tashinan Yogi. Korean Onni is berating me for sticking my <laughs> tongue out. I was concentrating on copying and pasting onto the Naver V Live service because I want you guys as well. I think you're trying to be cute or something. I want them to have a chance to send in their clips. Is it, isn't that a stereotype? Is that an old Korean thing? In the West, if you have your tongue sticking out like that, it's usually when you're thinking or thinking something. Thinking or like, focusing. Hmm, like that, yeah. Obviously, copying and pasting is challenging for me, so <laughs> I needed to use all my brain cells. We're back for part two. Welcome to Korea. Korean on me is in the studio. We're teaching you some Korean today from a drama. Before we get to it, let's read a couple of messages. Josh Lee says, Puffed rice is an interesting thing to watch. It sounds like a cannon shooting. He's talking about bong tiggy. Ah, have you seen that being made? Yeah. Uh, some Sometimes in the restaurants, they actually have the bong tiggy machine so oh, wow. we can watch it pop out. It is very noisy. You're right. It's like a little cannon. Mm, it yeah. just go bang. Mm. When I first heard it, I thought someone was shooting me and I jumped on the street. <laughs> they have it in these little trucks on the street. It do, like You never hear gunshots in Korea, right? But that was the one time I thought I was being killed. But I wasn't. That's so funny. A it's, snack was it's coming. It's really tasty when you put ice cream between two bong and oh, it becomes a bong ice cream. That's good. And at Seoul Land, just in Kwachon across the mountain, mm. they have this like uh, walking ah, stick shaped yeah. one. And they fill the inside of the walking stick with the ice cream and the outside is bong Oh, that's so good. That's so Delicious, good. Yeah. 역시, 초딩 in my Peter. I have the taste buds <laughs> of a five-year-old. Cherry Russell said, we have puffed rice cereals like Rice Krispies and Siska Andriani also said, we have something similar in, in Indo. Indo? Indonesia, I think. Oh, rice crust crackers with slightly brown sugar coating. Oh, brown sugar sounds nice as well. And the dish I was confused about, it is nurungji, but it's not the same nurungji that you'll get as a snack. It's a bit thicker and it's called hemul chaptang nurungji. I think it's the same nurungji, it's just cut in a like a square way, so it just seems yeah, but different. You know nurungji, when I have it as a snack uh-huh. in like a plastic bag or something, it's usually quite thin and mm-hmm. it gets really stuck in your teeth. Uh, like, 
really badly. This one, not so much. Oh, like, really? It's, it's, it's not... like a special main nunungji just for this. Yeah, there's a bit more volume、dish. in the rice, I'd、mm. say. Give it a try. It's like seafood in a sauce with vegetables,、oh, like that... bok choy. Can、oh. you close it? I'm becoming hungry right now. I think I'm going to lick the screen. <laughs> I don't think it'll taste Mini、good. R said, Hi everyone, currently studying for my Korean exam in November and on the topic of Ulsurok, exhausting. More and more Ulsurok.、Mm. So that's kind of like a comparative thing. More and more thing. A. Yeah, the more and more A, the more and more B,、mm-hmm. something, right? Mogulsurok, p e b u l o So, the more you eat, the fuller you are,、mm-hmm. that kind of thing. You'll get used to it, Mimi. It. it is a complex pattern. You must be pretty advanced in your Korean learning. Yeah, Mimi、right? are. Well done.、Uh, we have so many correct guesses from the very start. When we even mentioned North Korea, actually, some people were saying, Is it crash landing on you, today's drama? And that is correct. Today's drama now revealed, so it's a drama.、Mm-hmm. Um, the name is Crash Landing on You. That's the English title. And in Hunger, it's Sarange p u l s i c h a k So, Sarang means love, so that's not in the English title officially.、Mm-hmm. And what's p u l s i c h a k Is that like emergency, emergency landing? Emergency landing, but why do they have Dong Dong Imochi on their screen?、Many、that looks people... exactly like my dog. I think they celebrate the dong dongs here, <laughs> our listeners on Daily K. A lot of them are dong dongs on、wow. a Tuesday as well. Don't be surprised, you're a superstar. <laughs>、uh, so, the official, I guess, sorry, literal translation will be love emergency landing,、mm-hmm. but crash landing on you. And I guess that makes sense because she actually did emergency landed on North Korea and she found her love. And she didn't realize, right? At the start, I saw, I think, some trailers for it. She thinks she's just in the northern part of South Korea. <laughs> And when Hyunbin's character, who's a North Korean soldier, comes,、mm. she assumes he crossed the border to South、ah. Korea. And she's like, oh, what are you doing? You know, I won't tell anyone you crossed the border. <laughs> But she finds out that she's in actual North Korea. I read a funny article about this one.、Mm-hmm. Um, North Korea obviously didn't like this drama because they thought、mm-hmm. that they, this drama is showing false.、Um, Representation of North Korea. Oh, really? Yeah. Was it? I thought it was fairly positive in many ways. Yeah, I think so. But North Korea just wants to be glorified. Not Their positive is not enough for them. Okay. They want to make it seem like everyone's a millionaire living in luxury. <laughs> so, apart from Hyunbin, who plays the main North Korean lead, who's the main female lead? The female lead is Hun Ye Jin, probably your. Favorite no,、actress. I'm not going to say favorite. I, I like her, she's nice, but she's not my favorite. <laughs> she's not your favorite.、Yeah. She's, she's all right. I, I don't dislike her or anything like that.、Uh, there's also、oh, good... I didn't know you had a standard, Pierre.、Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> not everyone is A. Sa Ji Hae is also on board in this drama. Not many familiar faces in the other male characters for me. Yeah,、least. that's true, but there was, there's one familiar one、um, well, who was a g a m i l You probably know this guy. Who? Kim Soo Hyun. Kim Soo Hyun was in this. Kim Soo Hyun was in for a g a m i l because she, he, was, he acted as a North Korean. Soldier, a spy actually, in the movie Secretly Greatly. Oh, wow, from back in 2013.、Uh, have you ever heard of that movie? I think I have. I haven't seen it though. Yeah, so he played the same character of that movie in this drama, which is pretty fun. Really?、Yeah. The same guy? That's really <laughs> same like a crossover. Korean spy, yeah. That's fantastic, isn't it? Okay, we've got lots of clips coming in. On V Live, we've posted up the words that you need to pronounce, even a romanization in English. So if you can't read Hangul, does Doesn't matter at all.、Uh, we're going to play some now and give you some feedback. Let's get to our first clip from Alex in Germany. Here we go. Very nice, Alex.、Uh, there's one thing I want to talk about.、Uh-huh. I think you said. Chalbunip, more chai, like. Chai, yeah. That's the problem with the chiot. Sometimes、uh-huh. some surnames like Chong are translated to C H E O N G,、uh-huh. right? Chong.、Mm-hmm. Because I think the J is not like a pure J,、mm-hmm. right? It's a bit tricky. But this one,、um, it's the double consonant. Okay. So it needs to be Chalbun, like Chajangmyeon. Chalbun. Chalbunip. Chajangmyeon. So when it's a double chiot, go closer to the J, right? Yep. Chalbunip. So. The accent.、Okay. Focus on the accent. It's got to be a strong sound there. Could I say the Pyomyongi? Jalbun Ip Kongju Yasso. Why don't we talk about the Jalbun Ip for、yes. this one? Because this is an idiom. Okay. It,、um, literally, Jalbun means short and Ip means mouth. So literally, mouth. it means short mouth. But、uh, is there an 
phrase like this in English? Short I mouth? think I think I think there is a phrase for the same meaning, but I have no idea what it is. I don't think it's short mouth. It's like. The definition we're talking about here is you get fed up of a food quickly, mm -hmm. right? You might eat it once and then that's enough, yeah. right? So it's you not don't eat quite, a lot. It's not quite fussy. It's that you really can't eat handle small, the same. Eat little, little, small portions. Small portions. And then you you're fed up. You uh -huh. don't want that again. So that's the meaning of jaibunip or short mouth is kind of similar to fussy, I suppose. Yeah. Whereas some people can eat the same dish again and again. She's the opposite because she's a princess. So that's kongju as well, right? right. Oh, th yeah. This Kongju. phrase doesn't have to be with kongju, right? No, it doesn't have to be with <laughs> kongju. It's just ibi jaipta means uh, that person gets fed up easily with the same food or eat small amount. Does that only apply for foods? Like you can't say ibi jaipta if someone gets fed up of people. Like, no, you can't say that okay. because it's related to mouth. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's only with taste. Alex's second clip. <laughs> this nice. is hard. Yeah. I found this difficult. I think he did better than me. I think he did better than me <laughs> as well. Eminai is that term that we're both mm -hmm. unfamiliar with because it's from North Korea, right? Yeah, it's. Um, I searched it and it's something similar to like kejibai in Korea. Is that a thing in Korea? You've never heard of kejibai? Kejibai? Yeah. That sounds like a foreign language, like Russian or something. <laughs> Strasvitsi and kejibai. That's a Korean word. <laughs> yeah, like, like kijibe. Yeah, like something oh, like kijibe. Okay, uh -huh. so slang for like uh, a lady. Lady, lady, well, girls. Girl. Uh, slang for girls. And Emina is the same. So it's saying, hey, woman. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, woman's is a bit rude. Is... This is rude. Oh, Emina is it... or kijibe is calling someone. Oh, kijibe is rude. Kijibe as well. It's pretty rude. It's not a lady. All you're right. not calling someone so lady woman. when you're but, saying kijibe. But lady, I know it has a classy <laughs> image, but it also has like just a normal thing. Like, ah. hey, lady, what's up? But that's not really so rude. Woman. Okay, so that's I think the it would feel. Be, you know, hey, woman. <laughs> Eminai, woman. <laughs> and then let's do a couple more bits here. Chungdejang <laughs> Tongji. Right, so um Chungdejang is a certain high, um like a commander. Commander. I am not I don't know. It's about a military this army ranking, stuff, isn't so it? It's Te, Tejang is like general, I think, right? Tejang or boss. Yeah, I, I really mean. don't know. Chungdejang is probably lower than Tejang, right? Because Chung means like middle, middle, right? So it'd be like middle commander, middle general. Yeah, there's like Tejang, Chungdejang. Uh -huh. I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure. And then Dongji <laughs> is how a lot of people in comrade. North Korea refer to one another, mm. right? Because of the communist infrastructure there. Comrade is how we pronounce, uh, how we translate that, right? Right. Dongji. So in Russia and China, if someone's from Russia here, then do do they call each other something like that? I don't comrade? think they say comrade anymore. Okay. <laughs> Maybe in the military, but not friends. I don't think you just say comrade. Because I think, I think in movies... Um... Yeah, you might see it. Hey, comrade. <laughs> yeah. But in North Korea, do we believe, because obviously it's close society, do we believe that guys even outside mm -hmm. the army call each other comrade? I think, uh, I mean, I think, I mean, this word um before North Korea and South Korea split, uh -huh. it just means friends. Oh, really? Yeah, it just means oh, friends. in Korean. In Korean. Okay, so, so we I think, can use it here in Korea? But it has this North Korean connotation, oh. so we don't use it anymore. Now Which it's is kind sad. of been hijacked. Yeah, I because see. it used to be a nice meaning word. That's really interesting, isn't mm -hmm. it? Okay, we'll get some more of your clips, including the third sentence after another song from the soundtrack, Sarangye Bulshichak or Crash Landing on You by Kim Jae Hwan, On One Day, Otten Nare. Korean Onni talking about uh, Crash Landing on You, the drama, and learning some phrases from it, including a North Korean dialect, which is pretty cool. But some are you quite surprised to hear Kijibe being said on air. So the thing is, it's not a good word, of course. It's like kind of derogatory. But it's also not that bad. It's not terrible. It's not a terrible word. But you were explaining in the song break, in maybe other places in Korea, it's used more often. But in Seoul, maybe it has mm. a more negative I mean, I would not like it when a guy <laughs> called me Kijibe, but it's definitely not a swear word or, or a bad Siska said as well, and it reminded us of that song by CL, Napun Kijibe, mm. right? Which is like bad beep. Yeah, guess... but she's calling herself that one. I'm so a bad that's girl. That's okay. Yeah, of course, right? But Don't call you know, like else if someone it. else calls me by that, but I then I have a name. So why do you call me with that? That's true. Let's not be derogatory with the nicknames. Okay. We have a message from Sarah Lewis Walsh saying, "Sticky rice and Korean rice is so hard to cook. Wish." 
you are both making me hungry. Well, that's <laughs> why we have this rice cooker. Are you good? But even with the rice cooker, mm-hmm. I don't think it's completely 100% that you're going to get delicious rice every time. Really? Do you it's do about it well? the water yeah. management. The ratio is important, but also how many times you wash the rice because mm. you're not meant to just put it straight in there. Yeah, right? I think it's so easy. You just need to ri- wash rice three times and three put times. it and then um, put water until your hand, hand gets wet and then press the button and your rice is all set. Okay, so that's the traditional way, isn't it? On top of the rice uh, you put your hand and it should mm-hmm. go to the top of your hand, mm-hmm. right? Is what they say. But everyone's hand is a different thickness. I feel. That's true. Right? So you try a lot of times and then you figure out what's the best portion for you. And you know, the rice cooker has the measurements for the rice and the water inside, uh, yes. uh, but I no one I uses that. I don't have that. a new rice cooker. That's fine. No, I think even if you do, you mm-hmm. don't use that. Like everyone still uses the old way with the hand. Yeah, yeah. Be- because we love our rice. We want to touch it before we eat it. <laughs> There's something called sonmat in Korean, which is like the taste of a hand, literally, but just means that person's like personal, mm-hmm. I guess, way of cooking, right? Yeah. Alex said, I tried to channel my inner North Korean news lady on the second one. You did it perfectly, Alex. I thought you were a North Korean news lady. Uh, We've also got one from Mimi who's asking you to uh, review her sentence. I'm sorry this studying is killing me, but That's perfect. So the more I go to school, I'm not (laughs) Yongli Hair, so I don't know how to say that word. Yongli Hair is like wise, clever. clever? Mm -hmm. Okay, the cleverer you're getting because you're going to school. Perfect, Mimi. You're going to pass your test. Uh, Let's get on to some more clips. Wait, Raul B is asking, what's a rice cooker? What's a rice cooker? So I guess it's just China, Korea and Japan that uses rice cooker. As frequently as they do, I think. Yeah, you're well, right. The electric in, ones. Um, South Asia, when I went there, they were selling Korean rice cookers. Oh, because mm-hmm. they're so good. Mm-hmm. I will say this. It used to be Japanese rice cookers that were the best. Yep. But now I think Korean ones. They're Korea amazing. is Mine talks becoming to me. Ev- best in every, yeah. in every way. That's why we live here. We're the best. <laughs> uh, let's get to a clip from Siska here in Indonesia. Let's play the first line. <laughs> That was perfect. That was really good. Kalesa. Kalesa. Ah, sounds more like Kuresa. Kuresa. So I think the Liel is interesting, isn't it? Because it's kind of between the R and the L. Oh, it's yeah. not quite one or the other. And it's not the Spanish L like Lo, like Kalesa. No. But it's more smoother than that, like Kuresa. So in this case, what would Kuresa mean here? Just so. so. So, yeah. what does that mean? My nickname. Pyeongmyeong is nickname, right? Mm. The fussy princess or the princess who can't eat big portions. Yeah. Uh, let's get on to... Why don't we skip ahead to sentence three? Because we haven't even played that once, I realised. <laughs> nice. Uh, 돼 sounded a little more like tall, okay. but... 안 되겠어. 안 되겠어. 안 되겠어. Yeah, it's just 안 돼 and then attach 겠어. 안 돼, 겠어. Mm-hmm. 죽도 밥도 안 되겠어. Right. So let's look at the literal meaning of this The first. literal meaning, right. So 죽 means porridge. Rice porridge. Rice porridge. Yep. And 밥 means rice. And 도 means like not even. Not even. So 죽도 밥도 uh, not even porridge nor rice. And guess so it's not going to be. So it's not even going to be rice. It's not going to even going to be rice porridge. It's going to be nothing. It's going nowhere. So that literally is the meaning that it's not going to be porridge. It's not even going to be rice. And then that as an idiom means it's going to be nothing. Mm-hmm. So you've got rice, you've cooked it, and it's not even porridge. It's not even... Well, then what is it? Has it disappeared? Has it just been ruined? It's going nowhere. It's just been burnt completely, Yeah, maybe. because depend, like Peter said, depends on the amount of water. It's mm-hmm. sometimes if you put too many water, then it becomes like a porridge. Yeah. And if you, like, it's adequate water, then it's pop. But, like, if it's some weird amount of water, then it's, like, nothing. What <laughs> is this? It would just be inedible <laughs> mulch. Uh, let's get to Yana, Liana. I think you've combined all three. Okay, so... Did it, I think she said Pyeongmyeong. Pyeongmyeong. It should be Pyeongmyeong. Pyeongmyeong. Pyeongmyeong is 
excuse. Excuse. And Pyeongmyeong means、um, illness name. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, illness name. <laughs> But Pyeongmyeong, it sounds a little, I mean, it's a little difficult to pronounce. Pyeongmyeong. Yeah, Pyeongmyeong. Tw- tongue twister. So, like, star and then name together. <laughs> yeah. But Pyeongmyeong in this case would just mean a different, right? Different name, nickname. <laughs> What's and then your nickname? Peter can say, Hyeonbintia. <laughs> Hyeonbintia. <laughs> That's my Pyeongmyeong, yes.、Uh, the second sentence, Tiana. Let's concentrate on this one then. So, after the commander, comrade, salim is the key word here,、mm-hmm. right? Salim, as we were saying earlier, is like not quite your life. Yeah, it embraces everything related to your life management, household management. Household、yeah. management is a good word. Household management. You are ruining his household management. management. It sounds very formal, but yeah, <laughs> it's like all the things you have to do to get by housekeeping,、uh-huh. just living your life, right?、Mm-hmm. So, ruining it here, this word I don't use often as well. Coddle. Coddle. Salimul coddle neda means like ruining. Almost, mostly financially. Do we use this word a lot we as well? Just I think, I, I, I think Ajashi's use this a lot, but I don't think I, I never use this word. It, yeah, kodol nada also means to go broke, right? Literally, if you're losing money. Ah, go broke, yeah. So they said this because she was eating five nurungjis. Ah, so that's where it、yeah. comes from. I didn't quite follow, but because you're eating all this food,、uh-huh. you are making him go broke. He、uh-huh. can't do any housekeeping because he's spending all the money on you. <laughs> Fantastic.、Uh, well, with a face like hers, she can do what she likes, and I'm sure Hyun Bin will be happy to play it. Some of you saying their chemistry was amazing, and you wouldn't be surprised if they were a real couple. Who knows? It's happened before. Mimi、like, R said that. With Song Song couple. <laughs> Although, it didn't go very well, did it? Okay, Korean on me. Have a wonderful week. <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll see you next Tuesday. Thank you so much as well. Here is another from the soundtrack IU with I Give You My Heart, Mamu Tudio Yok.